Here are the TriStar Twins graciously donated by one Alan O. So the machine on the right, a C8, a two-speed C8, had its motor replaced in 97. And whoever replaced it put a much stronger motor in there than what normally would have come in there back in the early 70s. So the machine on the left, which is a CXL, has a motor that's unknown to me, but let's go ahead and take it apart and see what it actually is. So I think the power rating of the machine on the left, the CXL, the sticker underneath says seven and a half amps. And I'm very suspicious of that because, let's see if I can get it right way around here, because I know this motor pulls a lot uh, more than that. And then it also says 10 amps using the power nozzle. Well, those numbers are probably fairly meaningless if the motor's been replaced. But what I want to concentrate on is this motor that supposedly is rated at seven and a half amps. Maybe the motor's been replaced in here as well. So let me just do a real quick power check before we take this one apart and service its bearings and commutator and whatever else I need to take a look at. So both of these machines are probably running far beyond original OEM spec. And this one only has one speed. So this one is actually pulling right now in its current condition 10 amps without the power nozzle. So the power nozzle would actually add uh, more current draw. So this motor in its current condition appears to be even more powerful than that motor. So let's take this apart and see what on earth motor is actually in here.
So before I remove and replace these 608s, let's see what kind of condition these bearings are in. So you spin it and you kind of feel for like a, a sandy effect. This one isn't bad. This one, this one's okay. The, the front bearing, that one isn't too bad. So that one could last a little bit, but let's try the rear bearing. Oh, oh, that's just awful. <laughs> that's, gee. <laughs> Let me see if I can have you hear that at all. Cause boy, that one's pretty gravelly. Let me see if I can get a good focus. Right, here we go. I don't know if you can hear this or not. Yeah, that's, that is absolutely awful. So we shall remove and replace. If you wanted to see the old ones, here they are. And the one here on the right, this is the one that was was really bad. And the one here on the left wasn't too horrible, but obviously they still need to be replaced. But this one was really terrible. And we've got two new 608 ZZs, ready to go. Okay, so in this case, uh, we're going to have a lot of sparking because the carbon brushes are a little eh. So I'm going to see if I can do a better job uh, shining them up. So you're definitely going to see some sparks on this one.
Okay, that is a lot better. Uh, this is the second round I actually had to do on this because, I mean, the carbon brushes just were, well, somewhat uneven. But that's uh, much improved. Well, for a 30-year-old motor with two new bearings, I think that's about as good as we can get. There's plenty of length left in them, uh, but they're not exactly in mint condition. So we'll just we'll work with what we have. extraneous motor noise. Okay, so we are done with this. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.